Hey there, it's Tom Corsinal, the Authentic Health Coach, back with here with Dr. Cannabis Corson talking about kidney health. And right now we're going to talk about medications and kidney health and what medications you should watch out for that can damage your kidneys. Well, a lot of people um, are taking pain medication today because of the basic fact that they are in pain, which not only slows them down, but it's miserable. And many people just cannot function without decreasing that level of pain using medication. And so what's really helpful to know is that a long-term goal can be, and it is possible to do this, to reduce the amount of pain, and that would be the way to reduce the amount of pain medication. If you're having a lot less pain, you're going to be requiring a lot less medication. It's gonna save you money, but it's also gonna save you some very dangerous long-term side effects. And particularly, there are uh, a lot of the over-the-counter things that people use for pain, these are things that people may think of as harmless, but they're actually not. There are lots of reported deaths when taken as prescribed um, from pain medications. And that's because these medications interfere with basic body chemistry. And it's such a good thing to realize that when we're using a medication, sometimes we really have a need for that medication. So I'm a big believer in using medications and uh, medical drugs uh, when, when truly necessary. The thing is that we can reduce the requirement for the amount of medication, both the dosages and the um, even the number of medications, and therefore reduce our national health care crisis in terms of our financial crisis, but also reduce the injuries that occur to people. We actually lose at least 100,000 to 120,000 people in the United States every year from medications taken as prescribed. That's, that's a shocking figure. So between 100 and 120,000 people per year, that's every year, die from their medications taken as prescribed. And that's a good reason to get free of those whenever you need to. Not for a moralistic reason, but for, we're talking health, longevity, happiness, and financial well-being. And so the major thing is inflammation causes so much of this pain that we have today. And recurrent injuries, overuse injuries, um, tendon injuries, joint inflammation, which we call arthritis, all of the inflammation diseases can produce pain. And when we can get our body going in the direction of less inflammation, this is a very worthy goal in every human being, whether it's a child or whether it's an elderly person or anywhere in between whether it's a very fit person like an elite athlete or a person that has to work many hours a day sitting behind a desk, all of us are prone to inflammation out of balance when we have what some people might call the standard American diet or SAD. So what we wanna do is eat the foods that are anti-inflammatory. These are whole foods designed for human beings and that could be vegetables, all different colors, varieties, the fresher, the better. Um, and the more vine ripened, the more plant chemistry is there that's anti-inflammatory, also anti-cancer, by the way, and the more fruits, fresh, whole fruits. When we're eating the whole fruit, we have the perfect package of nature with the fiber in it, so it does not raise blood sugar levels, unlike when we juice it. So eating that whole fruit and whole vegetable material is going to be anti-inflammatory. And the more we can do that, and the more we have our diet be a plant-based diet, where we're getting our calories, our protein, carbohydrates, and fats from plants, the more we're going to head towards anti-inflammation on a natural basis, and many people's pain will literally improve dramatically or actually go away. It's really fun to see that happen, and that's when they don't need their pain medications anymore. So it's a worthy goal because many, many medications will cause injury to the kidney, and or the liver, and these really cause a lot of long-term health problems as well as, um, as we talked about, way too many deaths from medication as prescribed. So I hope that really helps and gives people a sense of hope and a direction that they can go in. All right, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Uh, if you have any other questions about nutrition or health, just post a comment below and please subscribe to us on YouTube to get future videos and nutrition tips like this. And you can get Dr. Corson's Top 5 Nutrition Tips report for free at AuthenticHealthCoach.com. Wishing you a great day. Take care.